Okay, so in this one, we are going to be creating a torque speed plot for this motor. So let's look at what the steps are that we did before. So before we calculated what the torque was for a specific speed, and now all that we're going to do is repeat this process for different speeds. So let's go through these steps again. So the first one is we are going to set up the equivalent circuit. Step two, we are going to set the speed, meaning the slip, and then three, solve for the power and the resistance that models the mechanical power, which is the rotor resistance over R minus the rotor resistance because this is that's going to be equal to the mechanical power part and then four torque is equal to mechanical power divided by the speed okay so let's start with step one so we have 208 divided by the square root of 3 because we have to convert from line to line to line to neutral. We have our stator part and our stator magnetization and then we have our leakage inductance and the two resistors. Okay, so let's see. So the stator resistance is 0.5 the stator leakage inductance is J0.6. The magnetizing inductance is J28.5. The rotor leakage inductance is J0.83. This one is going to be 0 0.45. And this is going to be 0 0.45 over S minus 0 0.45. Okay, so now we have to solve for the power in this resistor right here. So before, what we did is we calculated a voltage here, which we called V1. And then we calculated the current that went around here, which was IL, and then we went PM is equal to the real part of this is the real part of IL magnitude squared times, oh, we could just do IL magnitude squared times the resistance, which is 0 0.45 over S minus 0 0.45. Okay, so now we're ready to go to MATLAB. So we're going to start over here, and we are going to loop through our values of S. So we're just going to say S equals lin space from zero well we don't want to go all the way to zero because then everything blows up so let's go e to the minus three comma one comma let's do a thousand okay so we want to loop through all of these let's just call this s vector okay so we're going to go for our loop equals one to the length of S vector. And then we're going to go S is equal to S vector of loop. OK. So now we need to get our voltage. 
So now we're going to solve for V1. So we need to get our main resistor. So we're going to go, well, let's go back and solve this a little bit first, like we did before. So then we have V1 times 1 over 0 0.5 plus J0.6 plus 1 over J28.5 plus 1 over 0 0.45 over S is equal to 208 over the square root of 3 times 1 over 0 0.5 plus 0 0.6. Okay, so then we're going to solve all of that. Let's go back to MATLAB and set this up. So V1 equals 208 divided by the square root of 3 times 1 divided by 0 0.5 plus J times... 0.6 and we're going to divide this whole thing by 1 divided by 0.5 plus j times 0.6 plus 1 divided by j times 28.5 plus 1 divided by oh we forgot to add in the plus J 0 0.83, 1 divided by 0 0.45 divided by S plus J times 0 0.83. Okay, so there is our voltage, and then we go IL equals V1 divided by 0.45 divided by S plus J times 0.83. And then our mechanical power is going to be 3, because we have three phases, times the magnitude of IL squared times, now we only want the resistance that corresponds to the mechanical power, so we're going to go 0.45 divided by S minus 0.45. And then our torque is going to be equal to our P mechanical divided by, let's go ahead and put that in here. So our omega is going to be our synchronous speed, which is going to be 2 times pi times 60 times 1 minus our slip. So divided by W. Now we are going to have our speed is going to be equal to 60 times 60 times 1 minus S vector. And then our T, our torque is going to be equal to, we are going to clear that out, and then put in a loop here, and then we should be set to go given that we didn't make any mistakes. So now we're going to plot N comma T. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So we are going to copy all of this, hit F9 to run this. And there is our torque speed. Let's go ahead and make this a little prettier. X label is equal to speed in revolutions per minute. And then the Y label 
is going to be equal to the torque in Newton meters. And there is our torque speed plot right there. So you can kind of see that when we're along, most of the time we're going to be along here where we have small slip and then this is our starting torque condition. So we see we have a fairly flat starting torque and then it kicks off where we're at.